They responded superbly. Paul Rideout heading them back onto level terms. And followed by Paul Rideout, second of the night. Lincoln's but with five minutes left, Paul Rideout completed his hat-trick to spoil an otherwise enjoyable night for Lincoln. So the second... Hitchcliffe. Beagree. An important signing by Everton in the second half of the season. Kyrie stayed on his line. And Paul Rideout made him pay for that. Now Stewart, good pace into the box, good ball in, and it's Paul right out second, and Chelsea are in trouble here at Goodison. For Everton, Samway is standing on it, I'm sure he'll take it. Goes short. Oh, and straight in, our oh, Everton, they bring a goal back within seconds of the restart, Paul Right out, sliding in. So still no goals here at the bridge, but Everton have come back into the game more after Chelsea had a brighter opening. Here's right out! And they're now in front. Fine header. <laughs> Gary Ablett. Now oh, Amakachi gets the shot in. Oh, and I think James just got a fingertip to that, and it might have made the difference. That was a magnificent save, because not only that, he hits it well in, but it gets deflected. He busts in between players there. He hits it, takes the deflection off Neil Ruddock. Now look at that for a save right out the top draw. He must be full of emotion about that. And Goodison goes wild. Well, five minutes ago, he put himself in the exact same position. And he put it over the bar. But not this time, Ian. This is better delivery. It's about five yards out. Ferguson's a handful. I've said it all night in the air. He steps off David James, who doesn't get there. And just puts his head there and into the net it goes. And I have to say, the second half... Mulvey. Caught late by Limpart. Now tablet. Pinch clip. Ferguson goes up. There's a crazy deflection. It might fall the right out. He scored. That's two. And that is all three points for Everton. And will put them off the bottom of the table. Delirium from the Everton fans. Happiness for Joe Royal. It's 2-0. And Liverpool are sacked now. There are two things at fault. The goalkeeper's bad here. But Stunky Ferguson's height that causes all the problems here. That was a really poor punch from David James. I don't think he'd any need to punch it in the first place. He could have taken a hold of that. But Duncan Ferguson's threat was evident. And perhaps that's why he opted to punch it. But I'll tell you what, Ryder does well. It gets a little nick off, Bob. But I don't think that made any difference. But There's another one, and it's caused a problem this time as well. Owen is free on the left side. Watson gets the clearance in, and here's Limpart, and it's a four-on-two break. Stewart wants it to the left, Jackson wants it to the right, right out wants it down the middle. Still Matt Jackson. All off the crossbar and out from Stewart. take the lead at the second attack goal beer. Paul Ryder. Manchester United in disarray at the back. Caught there by the speed and the punch of the counter-attack. Scholes to Roy Keane. Scholes again. Congested penalty area. And the header. Oh! Pallister. Well, Schmeichel is still upfield. Someone will have to go and go. 
What it's an amazing chosen. game. It's all over. Everton have won the FA Cup. Dave Watson, the captain, who has inspired his team to victory. Manchester United, the favourites, have been beaten by the underdogs. Shaping hands with his Royal Highness. And there it is, the cup held aloft by Dave Watson. The 1995 FA Cup final at Wembley has been won by Everton.